Hello students, today we will start the new chapter Living Organisms and Their Surroundings. In this chapter we will learn about topics like habitat, adaptations, type of habitat, acclimatization, the most important topic and components of a habitat. First of all learn what is habitat. The surrounding where an organism lives, where it can find food, shelter and a favorable condition for breathing is known as its habitat. Is it clear to you? If we are living in a colony, then that colony will be our habitat. If uh, fish lives in water, then that water is the habitat of fish. If any animal live in a forest, then that forest is the habitat of that animal. Now after habitat, we will learn about adaptation. The ability of living organisms to adjust themselves to the surroundings is called as adaptation. Adaptation are the changes in structure or behavior of an organism that will allow the organism to survive in that habitat. For example, faces lives in water, so they are having special fins to swim in water and gills for taking oxygen dissolved in water. So this is the adaptation of the fishes. We human beings are having lungs to breathe in air. So this is our adaptation. In the same way, all living organisms adapt themselves to live in a particular habitat. So let us learn about the type of habitats. Basically there are two types of habitats. They are terrestrial habitat and aquatic habitat. And terrestrial habitat means The land where all plants and animals live or survive. Aquatic ha habitat means the habitat which has connection with water. It may be ocean, river, pond or lake or other sources of water. Further, terrestrial habitat is classified into five groups. They are forest, grasslands, deserts, mountains, polar regions. Let us discuss these one by one. Forest. Forests are the large area covered with trees and plants. Organing, organisms living in the forest depend upon abiotic factors like air, availability of water, temperature and sunlight, etc. Dear students, we will learn about biotic and abiotic factors or components of matters in our coming classes. Thank you.